Ladies and gents, welcome. We're back to recording at night time again. Yep. I thought I got around uh, this whole nighttime, daytime thing, but apparently not. And I'm now on my new factory, starting to rebuild that. Alley off. Anyway, uh, welcome to the channel. Thank you very much for joining me. We are today looking at a third party tool, which is really going to help you if you want to be a budding industrialist get stuck into your um, processes it's going to help you understand for whatever part you're looking to make or for whatever you're going to craft maybe with an exception um, only one it will help you understand how long it's going to take you to craft how many resources you need to gather to be able to make that and uh, it also takes accounts of the skills that you would you um, if you want you can have it take account of the skills that you have invested in for your crafting time so the first thing that i would suggest let's get away from those noisy industrial units first thing i would suggest is that before you start to use the crafting calculator you get very familiar with the bonuses that you're getting from your talents that you've invested in for example for basic pure refinery efficiency i've invested in tier four so that gives me minus five percent crafting time for each tier I have invested in now the skills calculator that sorry the, the crafting calculator has a skills element that will that will you can input the efficiencies that you've generated and uh, anyway I'm waffling let's have a look at the calculator you can find the calculator by going to um, dual.sh forward slash craft I'll leave that uh, link in the description down below and this is the tool so you will start off with a blank screen like this now you can do this in a number of ways. If you have items in your inventory already, you can put them in there. Um, you can put your skills in if you like, and then you can save a profile with your skills to load it again next time you come to the website. I haven't done that. I've, I've loaded up a blank template because I wanted to show you. I'm going to use something simple to show you how it works, simply because it gets very convoluted if you start looking at creating sort of things like uh, territory, claim units and stuff like that it would take far too long for a video guide so let's start with something simple a basic connector to make one basic connector these are the resources that you will need as a minimum okay but let's say we want to make a thousand you put in a thousand fairly obviously it changes the total ore that you need um, there is a pricing thing you can put prices in here so if you bought you can put in the prices and it will help you work out what your minimum sale price will be but it gives you the resources that you need okay so uh all of this this is your crafting queue so this will tell you in what order you, ideally you should craft i don't think it matters with the pure for example but this is the component you need to make and this is the end product so this is an intermediary component if i now go to my so one thing you can do for example is say in here that you have the ALFE. There we go. It took me a while to find it. Let's say you say you have ALFE alloy in your inventory and you have, let's say you've got 850. Okay. Oh, no, that's 1850. Let's say you have 50. This will then adjust your queue accordingly. But we're going to assume that we're working from scratch. We don't have that. Okay. So we're now going to look at the skills. And for this, I'm just going to dip back into the game. So basic ore refining, pure basic refinery efficiency, I have at tier four. Okay. And then all of the other basic ore refinings, I have at tier four as well. So you notice that the refinery efficiency gives me minus 5% crafting time and the pure gives me minus 3% material. So going back to the crafting calculator, what you would need to do is put in pure tier one, I am at tier four. Now I don't know if you can see on the right hand side there, the, quant the time is dropping. And that's because of the tier four I have in the refining. Sometimes it does this where it bugs out. If you just do a quick reload, it's fine. We'll come back. So we're going to pure time. I have tier four with time. Then material, which comes from each individual. I can say that aluminium pure 
I have at tier four. Before we do that, actually, just have a quick look. So total order that we need, 3120, and it's 2080 and 1040. So we go and put our aluminium pure in, tier four. And the other is iron pure, tier four. Okay, and then we leave that. And we can see the, the uh, total quantity of resources that we need has been reduced. And um, in its most basic form, that is how you can use it. But what you can do is you can put in a queue. So you can put in more and more items. So let's say we want to make uh, some more parts and we want some intermediary parts. We want some components, we want some basic components. There we go. And we can put that in again. Now what you might have to do, and uh, this might take me a while to find it, is go back into your skills so you're now looking at, uh, I think it's crafting, and it's intermediary parts manufacturing. So there we go. So intermediary parts manufacturing, I have nothing in there. Nothing whatsoever. So basic intermediary part, part let's say I have tier five in that. So I can go back to my crafting calculator and say that skills, we want intermediary parts, time, I have tier five. Oh, I've already put it in. There you go. So, there you go. So you can see the time changing there. And that's a very, very basic example of how you can use this. So let's say, let's add something more complex in. Let's say we get a territory claim unit. Um, that's a territory scanner, a territory unit. Okay. So now you start to see that it starts to become a little bit more unwieldy and your crafting queue becomes a little bit more intense. But as long as you keep these skills updated. Now I know, for example, that when I've got the reload again, just a little bit buggy, never mind. Uh, so I know that when we come to pure and I have uh, for tier two, I have five for my fuel making. And I also have five for um, all of the tier twos I have at five. So it's calcium, chromium, this is upper sodium. So all of my tier twos I have at five and that will then affect the total amount of resources that I need to gather. So that will tell me the quantities that I need to make a territory claim unit. It doesn't actually look a lot. And um, that then tells you, it kicks out at this side, what the crafting queue is, and it will tell you the total crafting time. So nine hours, 37 minutes and 33 seconds with my current skills. Now, I don't know where the territory claim unit comes in. Um, I don't know what skill set that would come in under because I haven't trained in it. But if you have that skill set, put it in and, um, and in essence, that's it. It's really simple, but it's really handy. So when you start getting into some really good co complex projects, investing some time in this, creating your own profile, keeping it updated with your skills. You can also, if you're looking to sell, you can add in the prices that you've bought things at. So let's say, what have we got in here? Calcium. So calcium is uh, limestone, isn't it? So you can change the prices. So, well, I actually bought that at 80. It's not going in, 80. In fact, you change all of those to 80. And it will start to tell you the price. And well, maybe you could say, well, actually, I got it all for free because I gathered it myself. So, actually, let me have a look. So, those are the prices. Put everything at zero, why not? I don't think it uses any tier three, does it? This is where it's going to embarrass me and show the price. There you go, the so price is zero. So you can start to use this as a means to control. So if you were saying setting a price on the market and you knew that your total cost of production, not including your time, your your playtime, is, you know, uh, I don't know, 200 per unit, then you can start to calculate your margins and kind of using the spreadsheet that you've seen me use before. Uh, that's it. It's pretty simple, but it's really handy. And the link again, dual.sh forward slash craft. That's it. That's simple. Thank you very much for watching. Again, if you haven't subscribed, please do because 
I'm really enjoying making this content. I'm certainly going to keep bringing this out. Uh, I'm going to move into looking at some more complex stuff in the near future uh, based around industrial processes and uh, industrial process design. A lot of ideas, a lot of people who are looking to collaborate as well, which is really good. Anyway, so thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye for now.